Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Hayden from Wizards Den, and welcome to the fourth episode of How to Play Sorcery Contested Realm. In this episode, I'll talk about combat based on rules 0.8. This will cover everything regarding combat, which includes not only attacking, but also defending, intercepting, fighting, and striking. Similar to the past episodes, this episode will be covering advanced concepts, assuming you watched the first episode, which was the overview episode. So if you have not watched it yet, please watch that episode first. I'll put a link in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's first review the attack ability which we discussed in the first episode. Minions can attack another unit or a surface of a site where it currently shares a location. Attacking will require the minion to tap. It can also attack them within the range of motion it can take. For basic units, this is limited to adjacent locations. Minions with airborne can attack to nearby locations. Submerged and borrowed minions can attack a unit on the surface where located or can attack by moving to the subsurface. Units with movement plus X can use the extra movement to attack distant targets. Now about defending. A unit can defend an attack on the location it shares with the attacker. Blocking will require the minion to tap. Basic units can also defend from an adjacent location. Airborne units can defend from nearby. Submerged and borrowed minions can defend by surfacing or moving to the subsurface. For defending, the minion have to be within a one step distance from the location of the attack. Movement plus X cannot be used to increase the range of blocking which was possible for attacking. So Rimlin Nomads cannot block from a distance two steps away. After the defenders are declared, combat will resolve. All the units involved in the combat will strike each other and be damaged at the same time. This term, strike, is one of the keywords that have to be explained. A strike means to deal damage equal to its unit's power. Combat resulting from the innate attack ability will result in all parties involved to strike each other at the same time. However, some cards may coin this word strike as an effect. In this case, damage is only dealt one-sided. For example, Clamor of Harpies have a Genesis ability that reads, Teleport target weaker minion to this location. Clamor of Harpies may strike it. This damage is one way, and Clamor of Harpies will not receive any damage as if it was an attack. Also, as this is not an innate attack ability, no minions can defend this strike. Another example of a strike is ranged. Ranged gives a unit a tap ability that reads, strike target enemy unit at a range up to one step away in cardinal direction. The damage is also one way for this. Also, unless the card specifically requires you to do so, striking does not require the card to tap. For example, whirling blades can be used on a tapped minion and will be able to take steps and strike the enemy units. Furthermore, as strike is not an attack, ground minions can damage airborne minions with strike. Up until now, I have talked about the difference and similarities between strikes and attacks. There is another term that needs to be discussed and that is fight. Fight is another non-attack effect that will make both units inflict damage just like an attack. Pudge Butcher is a good example. Pudge Butcher has a tap ability that reads, shoot a projectile, if it hits a unit, drag it to this location. Pudge may fight it. Unlike strike, this will cause both units to strike each other like an attack. Just as it's not in attack, it cannot be defended by other units. Also, similar to strike, units can fight even if it is tapped out. For example, a giant shark has a triggered ability that reads, whenever another unit enters or moves between sites in this body of water, giant shark moves to that unit to fight it. Giant shark can perform the moving and fighting even if it was tapped. Similar to strike, 
as fight is not an attack, ground minions can damage airborne minions with fight. Finally, I will talk about intercepting movements. Intercepting movements is a basic reaction you may take when an enemy unit try to pass by your unit. It would force the units into attacking each other as a result. When one of your enemy units try to enter a location that is occupied by your untapped unit and pass by to a different location, the untapped unit can prematurely stop the enemy and force those two units start combat in that location. Note, to use interception, the unit have to enter the location while passing by that unit. So a unit just entering the site cannot be intercepted. Neither can a unit that already was there at the location where the unit is placed can't be intercepted when leaving the site. Also, airborne minions cannot be intercepted by ground minions. Only other airborns or units with ranged can intercept them. So that's it. This was everything about combat. Attack, strike, and fight are all different terms that describe how damage is dealt. So make sure that you review these carefully when playing. The episodes of this How to Play Sorcery series up to this episode 4 should cover all the rules you need to know to play the four elemental pre-constructed decks. By now, you should have mastered the rules of sorcery and will be able to play with confidence. If you have a friend you want to introduce this game, please let them know these videos as a quick start guide. If you have any questions regarding the rules, please write in the comments section and I'll write back. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future episodes regarding sorcery. Thanks for watching and until next time, have a great game.